else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can watch the VT. Hold up, sir. Word. Yeah. To all the killers and the hundred dollar billers. For real, niggas who ain't got no feelings. Feelings. Check it out now. Welcome, everybody. To episode 32 of the Vape Team. It's been one hell of a week, and uh, I'm glad to be back. I'm glad you all could join us this evening. Um, let me start off by introducing my partners in crime. First off, we have none other than R.A. Raggedy Ann motherfucking vapes. Everybody? What's up, peeps? Raggedy Ann here. <laughs> he... He is one sexy fucking guy, let me tell you. <laughs> and the man who has a beard that grows faster than I last in the sack, BK Baracus. What's up, BK? How's everyone doing out there tonight? Uh, wow. I had a crazy day today, and I'm just having a cup of coffee. And to be honest with you, it's been a whirlwind of a week in the vape game. Uh, we've had advocacy fights to uh, to join together and fight. We've had new product releases. We've had haters, as always. It's just been chock full of vape this week. And uh, why don't I talk about what I'm actually vaping? we got a lot to talk about tonight. Uh, I have the Joytech EVIC VT Mini with my Super Tank Mini with these brand new Playboy coils. This is a .2 ohm Playboy coil. And these things are sweet. They remind me a lot of the uh, smoke me smoke me coils that I had from a couple months ago. So they're they're really sweet. I'm vaping on the older Creus uh, RTA with uh, <laughs> uh, Mikey Assalamu alaikum vapes over there. Jihad bitches. Yeah, I'm sure our Muslim viewers will appreciate that. <laughs> We've never been one to shy away from offending everyone because the truth of the matter is we all hate everyone so it's all good equally hater uh, I'm also vaping the Kanger Tech N-E-B-O-X the Any Box so I got that with the RTA in it I'm pulling a fucking Mike Vapes tonight BK that's alright somebody's got to do it I'm going to step step up my game a little bit. I got the Relo, who everybody in the world has told me this week. It's called the Relo, and they've given me all links to Google, and they've all questioned my intelligence. Thank God and for the teachers. Thank God for the haters, because they've, I mean, yeah, they've, they've really clarified how dumb Americans are. So I'd like to say fuck you very much, and uh, keep on hating. For how smart you are, though, doesn't seem very intelligent to ignorantly correct somebody on YouTube. But hey, who am I to judge? So on this, I have the brand new updated Creus with the larger post holes, which I love, top air or top fill on the Relo. And I also am rocking the, oh, pff, the fucking Playboy. Boom. Nice. You know, the funny thing is, and I'm going to be honest because that's what the fuck I do. Whoever thought that getting the Playboy brand, I don't even know if they got the copyrights and, and the rights to use the branding because it's from China. Uh, whoever thought that that would be a good brand for vaporizers, I, I just don't see it. For me personally, and I can only speak from my experience, uh, it seems like a pretty low-end brand, Playboy. Uh, <laughs> I love smut magazines like the next guy, even though Playboy's not even going to have nudity anymore. But this is not like a premium brand. I mean, they have this leather-bound thing, and it's kind of cool. I mean, dual 18650s, 150 watts. This door feels like a big, fat piece of shit, but uh, the tank is halfway decent, and it vapes pretty good. But the Playboy branding, I mean, shit. Am I going to go out on a classy Friday evening with my wife and have dinner and whip out the fucking Playboy, and it says Playboy right on it? And have a vape? <laughs> you know it's Hugh Hefner's company. Is it his vapor company? 
kind of. Twisted 420 said that Hugh Hefner has something to do with the company. Well, that's what he says. Either way, you know, I, I have, I'm just speaking from my personal feelings. I just think it's a low end mm. idea, and I'm not a huge fan of the brand. The device is fair at best. And that's all I have to say about that. So that's all I'm vaping. BK, what are you, you vaping? I tell you what, though, back on the Playboy thing, I think it's kind of a good idea because there's a lot of low low end basic ass motherfuckers out there that are going to be attracted to that. I, mean, I completely up. agree, BK. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're you're going to see some basic ass bitches in fake Uggs with too much leopard, just like hand checking the shit Playboy out of that mother leather wraps with fucking bunnies because I got the tattoo on my fucking ass. Doesn't that what, tank what? look like your OBS, Chris? <laughs> What'd you say? It looks like my OBS. Yeah, it sort of does. It, but it has like the airflow control off of the Heracles. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, BK, anyway, I know you call it like you see it too, bro. Yeah, I'm vaping this thing here, this uh, this E-Fusion DNA 200. Been loving the shit out of this thing all week. Um, I have the Sapore RDA on top here. Both are from Web Vapes. And I, I even have some pre-made Clapton coils in here also from Web Vapes. Good shit. I'm dripping a little bit of, uh, what is this, Sweet Cascade. This is from Third Rock Organics. I also have some Citron as well. That's also from Third Rock Organics. Straight to the punch. Been vaping the shit out of this for a week. And this lovely, lovely mango lychee from Dripping Clouds out in California. This stuff is awesome. Really good. It uh, it tastes kind of like pot. <laughs> like pot. Lie. Nice. So if you like the taste of pot, right here, folks. I also have the uh, you know old trusty here, with the uh, the old 454 big block with some sort of radical build in here. You know, nothing exciting. BK, just to let you know, you want to use the correct vernacular this evening because you might get hated on and corrected in the comment section. Such as? I haven't caught you yet using improper uh, speech, but you might. BK is the smartest you. one here, trust me. Mike, you, you are getting deeper and you deeper. Don't on. <laughs> How do you hate on that guy? Look at him, he's fucking beautiful. Go ahead, it's Mike. Let's give us the buffet. Oh, hold up. I can't do this shit up. You can. Come on. Full costume buffet from Mike Vapes. Oh, man. Damn. Fucking hot. The parlor What's trick. How's, doing? How's everything? All right? Everything good? No comment? Okay, cool. All righty. Nothing? Are, you, are you asking us, Mike, or are you asking the well, audience? Well, you guys are the only ones that can answer me, like, <clears throat> during the show. No? The buffet, okay, yeah. Mike. The buffet. What oh, the buffet. buffet. Oh, I don't know. That's how you guys were doing. How's everything? We want the buffet. No. Okay. I have, um, what is this? I don't even know what this is. Vape Sig, Steve's or Sig, DNA 200 with the velocity. And, uh, Little update on this. I know Mark, you're listening over there. Uh, they changed the paint on this for the third time now, so I got a different version than your other two. What they did with this is they put the what do you call it? like that vapor shark skin, rubberized skin paint feel on this device, and I fuck it feels nice. Good job with this so far. So yeah, velocity and uh, pebbles donut. If anybody hasn't tried this, make sure you guys get yourself a bottle of this stuff. Pebbles Donut is delicious. Good stuff. Uh, what else do I got? I got the updated OBS Creus with the Lava Box DNA 200. And, uh, yeah, they fixed the problems on this bad boy. Nice. <coughs> and what am I vaping here? Dead Throne Blood Orchid. Delicious. Blood orange, like sherbet, something like that, with strawberries. Banging. What else do we got in the buffet here? I have the... This is from Praxis Vapors. This is the Decimus. Decimus. 
150 watt box mod here. And I got my sub tank mini on there, and in there I'm vaping some Kilo Keyberry, and I'm like running on fumes. I want to know more about that Decimus a little bit later, if you don't mind, Mike. Of course. Uh, I have the boxer here with uh, the REM Rem Rementry RDA with the Trinity glass top cap on there. And in there, I'm actually vaping. Same company, Dead Thrones e-liquids. It's called Dead Elvis. This one here is a peanut butter with sliced banana. And I hate peanut butter and banana vapes. I don't care for it. This is going to be one of the most delicious truths I've ever, ever had. This is good stuff. So that. E-Fusion with the OBS. DNA 200 with... Uh, some Philip Rock strawberry ice cream. And my last device that I'm using is the, the Bellis RTA with uh, the Enikin Disruptor. And this is like their new batteries they got out. They updated the batteries. It's got the American flag on there. And I guess uh, sales from this uh, battery, I guess, uh, what is it, 50 cents they're giving for each one, is going to Kassad.org, basically to help, you know, the cause here in the United States. So they made the battery with the American flag on it. Pretty cool by them. Good ship. The juice in here that I'm vaping is actually a top secret juice. I cannot mention it. Sorry. But it is a cereal vape. And Suzanne, my birthday was yesterday, not today. Happy birthday, Mike. I didn't even know it was your birthday yesterday. Yes. You know what? I'm going to fucking put that in my phone because I have an issue with remembering things. You can continue your buffet. I think you're, what, halfway well, done? No, actually, I was kind of done. It's only, uh... What? Six items. <coughs> That's good enough, I think, right? I mean, I could keep on going. Like... It's pointless, I think, right? Well, I could bring this one up, too. This one's sitting in front of me. The Wismic. The Wismic. Uh, the Ray Laos. Right? Is that what it's called? Ray Laos? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm looking at the chat. This is I think correct. it's named after a uh, European dessert. I think that's what it is. A European dessert it's named after? We don't know what the name is. Anyway, I baited all of them in my video. <laughs> I had already commented. When I called it out. So anyway, I got uh, I got the, the Ray Lou DNA 200 with... Uh, this is the Vengeance... Uh, Tank? sub -own tank, I guess? Yeah. Cool. That's it. I'm done. I'll just hit that shit a little bit. Man, that buffet was like the low-end buffet at the Strip that you don't want to go to in Vegas. Seriously. That was weak. Mike just lost like 3,000 subscribers right now. Yeah. Well... When he sets the bar so damn high, BK, it's hard to one-up himself the every week. <laughs> yeah. There are haters, no doubt about it. So That's how did you... I vape the same fucking thing every, th every week. And you vape it strong, BK. So how did, how did you guys feel about the uh, advocacy stuff this week, BK? I saw you on your Facebook and on your Instagram were promoting... How do you think it went? How did you feel about it? How did you how did you actually feel about what they were trying to accomplish? Well, I mean, all in all, I'm kind of happy at the outcome. Uh, I was going into it. I was definitely apprehensive. I didn't think anyone was going to do anything. I figured maybe we get like five or ten thousand calls. Um, I think at the end of the day, we ended up getting about fifty thousand calls. That's pretty substantial. So I think that's good. Um, <clears throat> I'm still a little, I don't know how to say it, a little apathetic because we need to keep this going. Now, every, everyone did that safe now. But, I mean, in reality, we need to keep moving forward. This should be every day people should be doing this. Every day people should be posting about it, spreading the word, you know, because people forget quick. Americans forget everything in five minutes. But the feds, they're not going to forget. You know, we got to keep hounding them. Make it annoying, make it big, keep growing it, and you know, remind them that we are a large voting base and uh, we're to be reckoned with here. But eh, 
and we'll see what happens. I'm going to keep pushing it. I hope you I, you guys are probably going to keep pushing it as well, I hope, and uh, you know we're going to do the best we can here. Yeah, uh, what I could tell you about what you said, I'd like to add to it. The phone numbers for the White House, they don't change. Those are the phone numbers. So you can call every day. And that's what we need. We need everybody to call every day. That's the yep. way to do it, you know? We need to push it to them so this way they know that, uh, you know, we vape, and also that we vote, too, and uh, bring it up to them, you know? We know that it's Obama's last term, but uh, if you're a Democrat, say, even if you're not a Democrat, whatever, you say it to them, I'm a Democrat, but uh, if uh, things don't go the way it should go, I'm going to be voting Republican. you got to say stuff like that to them. That's what they care about, the vote. They don't yeah. care about all the other stuff. But uh, the talking points on Kassad, that's what they wanted read off. So you read off those talking points and bring up, too, about the voting situation and all that. You know? But, uh, yeah, we should be doing this all the time. It shouldn't be like a, a blast, everybody saying it. We do it for one day. All right, next day, every, uh, next day it's all back to normal. We can vape now, whatever. No, it's every day we have to fight. And not not just federal. I mean, you got to be approaching everyone on the local level too, state and local, just as hard. Because you know what? It could end up being okay on a federal level, but they could still ban it in your state. Yeah. They could ban it in your town. You know, I mean, that stuff happens. I mean, the United States of America, all the states have their own laws and their own jurisdictions. Mm -hmm. They can do what they want. So you got to fight everywhere. Yeah. I think the inevitable outcome is... Um not necessarily the, how they're going to ban, but how they're going to try to control and regulate and uh, allow really monopolies to run the industry so that they can get you know taxable dollars back into the system from vaping. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my channel this week. <clears throat> I'll bring this up real quick. Um, and and it, it made me want to bang my face against my keyboard, and it's kind of made me angry all week on top of all this shit that's going on. Uh, with the uh, CASA call to action, but the this juice, Nectar, it's the first juice that I've gotten that is 100% tobacco-free nicotine. So it's 6 milligrams of nick. It has a tremendous throat hit, no, no flavor from the nicotine, and it's not made, it's not derived from any tobacco at all. Well, so, a, lot of, a, lot of the nic a lot of the nicotine on the market used in e-liquid comes from... Um, Eggplant and tomato. Yeah, eggplant and tomato. Yeah. Now, not, not tobacco. I'm not bringing this up at all because I think that this is going to actually be the solution for what we're looking for. Um, when I first heard about it, I was like, fuck yes, we figured it out. What are they going to regulate tomatoes and eggplants? It's already been put in. Of course. Yeah. The U.S. Course. government covers their asses with loopholes and workarounds and backroom fucking deals. And. We need to all recognize together that we are fighting an unfair fight with people that are willing to do anything to continue having the power, the control, and the dollars. And um, we need to fight as ruthlessly and uh, and with the, with as much fucking energy and aggression that they have. We just need to figure out ways to do it to not make ourselves look bad at the same time, because they're going to use everything against us, anything possible they're going to use to to uh, to point a finger and say, "Hey, we told you so." Too bad nobody can point a finger at them. <laughs> if, you, if you've read the language of it, I don't know how much of it you've read, um, it can be interpreted if you read the language a certain way that really they can't do much about the hardware, okay, because I know the hardware to us is dramatically different, but if you look at it, you know, from a nuts and bolts perspective, the atomizers we have now are really no different than a SIGA like technically. They're bigger, they're configured differently, but everything is pretty much the same. So you can say that the technology, the, the devices we're using really aren't any different. So there's an argument for that, okay? Where there is not an argument is for the juice, okay? It's going to end up costing $300,000 per juice, per nicotine strength, per flavor. That's what might end up happening. No. We might be able to keep all this stuff. We might not be able to buy juice from anywhere. We might have to buy it from R.J. Reynolds. Because nobody else is going to be able to afford to do it. I mean, there might be a couple companies out there that survive, such as Cutwood. 
I mean, I think they have enough capital. They could probably work with it. I mean, they have a rally team and shit. I'm assuming they can afford to do a line of like, you know, maybe half a, half a dozen juices in three different Nick strengths. They can probably afford that, but most companies, there's no way. I mean, you might what end up with a, a couple in the country. What about the DIY stuff? Well, that's going to be that's going to be kind of sticky. Um, it'll probably be to a point where if you're making zero milligram, you'll probably be okay. But they'll probably make nicotine, liquid nicotine, a controlled substance. So if you have that in your home and you're making do-it-yourself juice and you're in groups online and stuff like that, that's going to be enforced by the ATF, and we know how they do business. They're going to come through your door with a fucking battering ram. Yeah, and then they'll put you in prison and you'll be a criminal. Yeah. And plus, yeah. if you uh, they'll, if you're they'll using... put everyone in prison and they'll keep your house and they'll keep your car and everything you own. Yeah, it's the truth. You know, Gang, straight gangster. Plus, if you're using nicotine for other purposes, you're going to have to show uh, credentials for, documents. for your product that you're using it for. That's other than vaping, and it's going to have to be accounted for. You know, They're, they'll do all kinds of shit like that. So and, once, you, you know? and once the companies with the biggest dollars seize control. They'll buy up all the VG and PG companies. They'll control the inflow of VG and PG, the production of VG and PG, and they'll control the cost per gallon so that for those that think that they'll make it themselves, uh, they're going to have probably a rule over that too. That's, they'll, they'll either control it with laws, taxation, or with running the actual businesses that you buy from. There's no free lunch with this. So the question is how much are we going to have to pay so that everybody's satisfied in the end, because there's going to have to be an agreement at a table that everyone can agree upon. <laughs> am, I, am I right? I mean, well, I'll tell you I mean, something. Whatever the cost is, the technically the juice companies should take the blunt, the majority of the blunt, because they're already charging a lot of fucking money. So that's what I think. No okay, argument. Fine. <clears throat> if it goes up a little bit, okay, but not like. Uh, if it goes up, for example, five dollars a bottle, they can't make a twenty dollars now a twenty dollar bottle twenty five to make up for that. No, they got to take the brunt of it. You know. Well, what I see is what I see is price controls like they have on cigarettes, and they're going to tell the companies how much tax they're going to give them, and what the price is going to be. That's what I see. Sure. I see a twenty dollar bottle of juice. They're going to go on the old days. Okay, back in the old days, we used to say that a bottle of juice was two cartons of cigarettes. That's how much tax would be. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is to be back to not for long, basically. All the sub on days and all that is over. Get out your K funds, boys. Yep. Yep. I mean, hey, it might be fifty bucks a bottle. Yep. I'll be I'll be fucking toilet water and, and olive oil. <laughs> I'll quit. <laughs> yeah, I know. Fuck that. The vape team will become like the fucking crepe team. I'll be reviewing crepes and shit. We'll have a cooking class. Yeah. I'll start reviewing packs of cigarettes. I want to stay relevant. I want to review sex positions. You know what I mean? I'll be like, this fucking position <laughs> rocks. Talk about performance anxiety and all kinds of sexual disorders. Am I getting personal too much? Uh, no, no. no. Actually, it's pretty weak this week compared to last week. So <laughs> that is true. Last week went off the fucking rails, BK. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. Everybody says this is a depressing show. <laughs> yeah, we gotta talk about something fun. Yeah, let's we talk about dicks. How about that? Well, we did it. We yeah. turned the subject over. I, I was on a fresh O3 show last night, and Dirty DeVoe was on there. All we talked about was dicks. Dude, when you left, I came on. I figured you did. You should. Uh, it was awesome. Because <laughs> you, you were lurking in the other hangout when I was on there. Yeah, I saw you over there. Yeah. So anyway, to sum up that section before we move on to lighter and more fun, enjoyable things, um, in all seriousness, we'd love to have fun, we'd love to joke around, but we're dead fucking serious about vaping and what it's done for us, how it's improved our lives, and uh, we got to fight together. I'm here for the long haul, BK, Mike, I know you both are, and uh, we need to fucking, we need to form together. The cool thing is with social media, with Instagram and Facebook and the way we can all communicate so fast, it's really... Um, it gives us a lot more power than we would have had maybe 10 years ago. So it's pretty awesome that we can do that together. Mm -hmm. So don't give up. We'll continue updating you guys. Continue uh, looking at the calls to action. Look at your state. Contact you know your, your representatives. And uh, let's get this fucking done. Yeah.
so the truth can fucking you know set people free out there that'll that are still smoking. Preach it. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about vaping. Any new products lately? You guys, anything uh, get anything good in that you guys are excited about? I'm excited about your product that you got in. Oh, I asked first. Yes, the Playboy, Mike. I'm excited about the fucking Playboy. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the level of excitement on the Vapor Chronicles. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Eddie box I've been fucking with. It's been it's been fun. There's some issues oh. that have been happening a little bit. Um, that thing is a nightmare. Those ten <laughs> mLs of juice all over my table. What was it leaking? Oh, mine leak. Marks. Well, oh, somebody else too. Daniel. Daniel told me it was his was good. No, uh, last uh, last night was it? No, it was Mark. No, last night Daniel on a live show. Oh, well, on Fresh Show, he said his leaks. You know, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Daniel said that as well. Yeah. Is that with the RTA or with the coils or both? With the coils. Not with the. He said he, his RTA hasn't leaked. The coils leak. Yeah, I have the mm -hmm. RTA and it. mine's not leaking. Yeah. Mine, I left it. Uh, you know, ten mLs. Oh, on the table. Good morning, bro. I came in here, and all the whole table. And thank God, though, it didn't leak and go onto my other mods. You know, it just puddled right around it. But mine's a defect too, so I just sending me another one. I gotta send that one back to him. But yeah, uh, there's yeah. a lot of there's a lot of disgruntled people out there that that are tired of the fucking V1, V2 game that these companies are playing, where they don't properly test stuff before they bring it to market and then you buy something like the Creus V1 and then two days later there's a Creus V2 because shit starts going wrong and it's I, well, I get it not for nothing though if they didn't, if they didn't do this you guys videos a week maybe <laughs> that's true BK thank you for pointing that out what is that I, I said you'll be you, you guys would be putting out one or two videos a week if it wasn't for televisions no, I'd still be putting every day. I'd be doing videos, tutorials, and vlogs. Sarcasm, Mike. Sarcasm. You know what I'm That's what I want. I'd like that. What you're saying is what I want to be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do you, do you guys think that um, once the dust settles after everything is sort of, you know, solidified with the on the government with the government's, you know. Uh, you're going to see a slowdown of product releases. They're kind of rushing every, everything to get it out and get a piece of the money before it ends. Uh, most definitely. Yeah. I don't think this level of fucking new shit is sustainable for the long haul. At least for my life, I can't do it. <laughs> it's too much stuff. <laughs> do you want to know about the decimus? Yes, I do. All right. Dual 18650 runs with a pulse width modulation, so you see, you hear the humming when you press the button, the humming sound. Uh, there's the inside. Right here, that and that, that's the up and down buttons for your screen. They're inside instead of on the outside. So you adjust your wattage, then you put your plate back on. Cap. Now, the other side also comes off. They'll be selling these pieces in all different colors. So you could, you know, customize the device. 150 watts. Fires down to, you know, I tried a 0.15 and it wouldn't read it. So I'm thinking 0.2 is the lowest you go on it. 0.2, I believe. So 0.2 is the lowest. Uh, does not have temp control. And, uh, yeah. I've been enjoying the shit out of this device. It's now what's, nice. what's the MSRP on those, Mike? Ninety. Well, the place I got it from ninety-five dollars, and uh, the the feel on it, it's got the same feel like the like the Vapor Sharks, the skin, like a rubberized feel. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's pretty nice. And then uh, this part here, it's got like a like a it's like a I don't know how to explain it. Almost like a rubberized feeling plastic, but it's not as soft as this part, you know, here and here. Nice. It's hard to explain what it, how it feels. 
but uh, almost like leather, like a leather. You know? Yeah, like the playboy, like the Playboy leather. Yeah, but no, not actually. A, this is real yeah. leather, though. This is premium. Yeah, that's a uh, high end <laughs> leather. Is that actually real leather, Brian? Yeah, well, they say it is, but who knows? Really? Yeah. I'm surprised. So yeah, this device, uh, the buttons, fire button, the up and down button, rattle box. So uh, usually I don't like to fix devices. I don't care to fix them. I'll fix them if I like them. Uh, I'll do it maybe after the video. But I love this device so much, I right away fix the problem on it. And no rattle at all. So, Mike, it was rattling inside the case, like with the cover on? Yeah, just, yeah, the inside, yes, they'd rattle, though, because the buttons would just hit the, the plastic part. Ah, right? okay, yeah. And then the fire button, when I fixed that problem, the fire button had the same issue, so I fixed the fire button. So in my video, I, I show how I fix the problem with it, you know? I actually take out the pieces that I, that I put in there, and I go like this, and you can hear it rattle, and then I put it back in. Simple fix, but we shouldn't have to do that. Fix the device for them, you know, especially from Praxis. You know, they're supposed to be a high-end company, right? And they come out with a beautiful device, and shit rattles like a motherfucker. But uh, now there's no rattle. But it's a nice device. I like it. <clears throat> That's why I'm kind of surprised that it has a rough PWM like that too, being yeah. a high-end company. Yeah, PWM. Uh, when it's when I'm running a .5 coil, it's not really that noticeable. You can hear it a little bit. But uh, if I'm running my crown with a .2, I just press yeah. the button like quick. You hear it. You hear it from a distance, like from this far away. I can do it. and I can hear it. And it's loud. The .2. Yeah, see, that's no good. I mean, you, yeah. you can buy, you can buy something real cheap that has the power, smooth power, temperature yeah. control. Oh, I know. I know that's that. no good. But for me. I like it. I like the device itself. Yeah, the form factor of it. It's form beautiful. Form factor, and I don't mind the sound. Whatever. I like the form yeah. factor. It's so comfortable to use. Let's find out if the Playboy makes that sound, BK. I love a nice trashy vape. <laughs> <laughs> The government should buy these up and give them the hookers walking the fucking beat. <laughs> walking the track. East Hollywood vapes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mike. Um, <clears throat> that Praxis, I, I've seen a lot of uh, Instagram pictures of it, and it looked it looked awesome. Yeah, did, you get the, did you get the tank that they were pr promoting with that? No. No. I don't know. It, it looks like specification-wise, like it's sort of behind the times a little bit. Oh, it is. Well, it's using pulse width modulation chip. I mean, the yeah. screen is not the greatest screen, too. But rattly buttons, no temp control, screen's kind of fucked up. Yeah, look at the screen. I mean, it's like a little cheesy-ish, you know? Yeah. But, uh, but on the battery symbol, when you fire, it's like a lightning bolt, which is yeah, like... It's kind of like an bolt. eye stick, but with like a it's much a more... It's symbol that's on case. the side here, in between Praxis Vapors, got that lightning bolt. Oh, well, it says practice on the side. Then it's totally worth it. Yeah. Oh, I don't know about that. I'm just saying what <laughs> is words in my mouth. It's the new Praxis eye stick, folks. Well, that's yeah. what it is. Thanks for showing that off, Mike. You're welcome. BK, what do you got? What do you mean, what do I got? Oh, you know what, BK? What's up? Hold on. I have something that might pair well with your uh, E-Fusion. What do you got? Hold on. You know, it's really tough. Hold on. Let me open this. Yep. Mike knows where I'm going with this yeah. already. Uh-huh. I do. Well, I have, I have that and something else that would pair up. The, uh, the new Fishbone version 2. Mm -hmm. the velocity deck. The gold one. Let's stick on there. Mike's whole body's in tune with the flow of the whole vape industry all the time. <laughs> right, Mike? Yep. I got a nice gold device coming soon. I need a gold device, but BK, check this shit out. This is Playboy. 
Looking forward to it. How would that look on your uh, D- on your DNA 200? Do you think that would match up yep. color-wise? Yeah, that would look kind of sexy. Kind of sexy, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I recommend going and getting a nice can of spray paint and heading out to the garage because that's what they did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can walk up and down Hollywood Boulevard with that, bro. Yep, I'm gonna. I was gonna wear this around my neck. Glass. Get Glass. it drill. Have 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 Tooney fucking drill this out and get a necklace out of it. You gotta Glass. wear like a silk shirt, unbutton like the top three or four buttons with some gold. Gold yeah. chains. Yeah. We'll all go to the gym with like those plastic suits on, and we'll all sweat into like a little vial, and we'll combine the vape team sweat, and I'll wear it around my neck. Oh, uh, no doubt. Yeah. No doubt. Whatever. <laughs> some Oakleys. Like the yeah. old Oakleys? Some razor wow. blades? Yeah. I forgot what they were called. Oh, I got this little guy. The Tesla 2, but it's in a, a silky um, like Vapor Shark finish here. Yep. You got that, Mike? Yeah. Yeah, nice little little fella. Uh, I, have, I, have a couple of t- I have a couple of tanks coming up. I have... Um, the aroma miser, I got to get around to that. I have, um, <clears throat> I still haven't put the Creus up. I got to put that up. I have a couple of uh, yeah, middle of the road variable wattage devices coming up. Some good, some bad. Uh, a couple of RDAs sitting, and I also have uh, two custom box mods that, that are coming up. So uh, yeah, I got a bunch of bunch of decent stuff coming. You've been rocking that Axe box mod. Oh, yeah, I love it. I mean, I to be honest, I can't vape 12.6 volts all the time, even me. I mean, it's a bit much. <laughs> you heard it. He can't do it. Mikey Vapes can. On a one ohm load. PK, i got to show you this one here. You're going to like this one. What's up? Check this bad boy out right there. Huh? Look at that. Gold and black rings on it. Nice. Mike, are you recording from the public library tonight? Why? Because your feed is like a little blurry and pixelated. Is it just on my end? BK? No, he's in the, he's in the back of the DHL truck. Is it really? Yeah, it doesn't look... Uh, usually it's pretty clear. If I know this. If BK's looks and sounds better, there's a fucking problem. <laughs> <laughs> so all upside. No, offe- no offense, BK. I'm not offended. Good. It's part of my charm, Brian. You might just left the vape team forever. I had this discussion with Fresh on his show last night. You know, he's like, no, 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 no. Don't improve your setup. It'll kill your whole thing. <laughs> Am I still pixelated? That looks better, Mike. It, it is better. Yeah, it it is better. We can see you in, in your your sexiness in HD. Right. So, Mike, go ahead with your box. Box? Yeah, you were talking about a box of PK. No, I was showing him the RDA. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking fucked up, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to sit here and keep my mouth shut. Anyway. So, I, uh, I got my Monster V3 refinished by Addy Tooney. Nice. Um, he did some smoothing of the airflow, and he drilled out. I don't know if you guys can see this, but he drilled out the chimney a little bit and cooked it a little bit, and he put bigger wicking channels in there. So how is it? Uh, still turbulent, but the airflow is better. The flavor's good. I never have a problem with the air or the uh, flavor, but it just kind of tastes like. Sh- uh, or the airflow's shitty. Yeah, the flavor on that is stellar, but the airflow is kind of annoying. It's it would be it would have been great airflow a year and a half ago, yeah. But but now there's so many smooth succulent airflows. It's kind of tough. It's totally not worth the money, by the way. 
Uh, you know, I mean, the whole point of it is, is it's it's still a K fund. You know what I mean? Yeah, K funds are K funds. You know what I'm saying? No matter how you cut it, it's gonna have uh, man fucking airflow, great flavor, and it's gonna look nice. Yeah. Where did Mike go, BK? I have no idea. Is he in the uh, chat? The DHL truck is probably in a tunnel right now. <laughs> I think Mike's in chat and he bailed on the show and he's talking shit. Probably. Yeah. People are talking about the prep that goes into the show and how <laughs> the crickets prepare the show for us. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If you guys think this is easy, I know it looks like we just joke around and stuff, but uh, try to do 32 hours of content and uh, keep it flowing the entire time and not have a lot of crickets. <laughs> Who am I fooling? It's easy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Banging out reviews is hard. This is easy. I got some reviews to get caught up on. How many you got? Um, you know, it's weird. I'm getting a lot of stuff in that's not really, like, reviews for new stuff, but it's, it's yeah. like either a revision or, like, these Enikin batteries, right? Yeah. Because the Kasai ones, they have the nice, it's like a metallic sticker. Uh, do I do a video on that? You know what I mean? Like, do I spend a, the time to upload a video on just that new battery, you know? I kind of wish the new the new Enikin product came with it. That would have been better. I mean, um, you, could, you could do, like, a minute and a half video. I mean, just, hey, here it is. Look at this. There it is. Bye, guys. Yeah, Mike. There's rumors that, you, that there's rumors that you were smoking cigarettes <laughs> when, I when you left. Went out for a Newport. Yeah, figured that. <laughs> nah, my wife wanted to talk to me. Oh, okay. Uh oh. She wanted to know why I was wearing a Halloween costume. Oh, is that hers? Yeah. The you ninja mask. stretch it. The ninja mask, nah. Um, and also, like you, Mike, did you get you got the Creus revisions? I saw them on your Instagram. Yes. Are, are you going to make a video just on that? Hell yeah. Yeah. I already recorded it. Let's see, much. So, okay. how, how much bigger are the post holes? How's the uh, the drip uh, tip? Post holes, you can fit twenty two in there. Can you? No. Yeah. Nice. They did a good job. Well, on it was it was wide enough. All they had to do was drill it. No, so for me personally, me. I mean, I could just drill it out. I don't, I don't give a shit about that. It was the drip tip that annoyed the fuck out of me. Yeah. I don't want to use that one drip tip on there, you know. I want to use my... I got a whole bunch of drip tips. I want to use them, you know. My Trinity ones I want to use, and now I got to use them. Yeah, pretty cool. So that, oh. that was really the only revisions. And and you you said something about, like, a slight change in the finish? No. Yeah. Is there? I don't see it. The only thing I noticed with uh, the tank, when I go to fill it, it's hard to uh, fill it. It's not as easy to lift up. There's a, like a lot of pressure. You gotta like hold it up a little bit, then it stays in place. Yeah, like they might have used really? a more like a tighter seal on the vacuum for the for the uh, juice flow. Yeah, yeah. I bought a whole bunch of drip tips on Fast Tech, which is never a good idea. <laughs> and. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm cheap, and when you see a five pack of drip tips, you're like, because Mike's always posting these awesome pictures of these like dope ass twenty dollar drip tips, you know. So, I've been eyeing up his what is that the Trinity, Mike? Uh huh. And I said, oh, this kind of looks like the Trinity. I'm gonna buy it, right? <laughs> well, it came in the mail, so I'm gonna yeah. showcase it, and I think it deserves to be showcased on the Playboy. Yeah. The only good one that they have, <laughs> is the, nip, the Trinity good, huh? nip, drip tip. And it's a stainless steel one, and they sell them for like two bucks on uh, Fast Tech. I bought uh, five of those. I can't put this on the uh, on the Playboy because it doesn't have a 510 drip tip. It has a piece of plastic that slides over. No, don't tell me that don't pop out. Glass. That's going to be a negative error. It's got to pop out. <laughs> What That's saying? a major con, what folks. What are you guys talking about? Is that the mini? Is that the mini with the top fill, Mike? What is the one that comes with the? Yeah, I got separate ones. These are called the top and bottom filling, the mini versions. Oh, I haven't opened those. Yeah. So the tank is both a top and a bottom. 
Yes. You can fill it in, you time. can fill it up in both ends, BK. Kinky. Yeah. The way Brian likes We like kinky over here. Hey, that's what we do. All right, so let me pop it on here then. This is my chubby. Um so here what? it is. What is that? The chubby. There it is. Not bad. How's it feel in the hand? I mean, is it nice? It's, it's too. It's kind of too big. It's. I thought it was going to be shorter, lower profile, and this bottom part's a little bit too thick. It's not bad. I got a whole bunch of them. Let me show you. The, I got a couple of them. So I got the smoked black with the black, and then I got the red base with the black. Mm. Right. And these ones, their picture was so fucked up. It looked so short in the picture. And wait till you see this fucking thing. Ready? Boom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? Good evening, everybody. Looks like a fucking crack pipe. <laughs> yeah. That's why I hate buying drifts on fast. Yeah. Those pictures aren't fucking accurate that they put up. This is how I fucking vape right here. The low profile is <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I'll vape in the big time right there. A slam tip, yo. <laughs> um, and what, oh, oh, I got one more. Hold on. Oh, I got two more. What a whole shitload of these. Here's the yellow, which I that actually looks kind of good on here with this colored liquid in there. That does look kind of tight. Yeah. What do you think, Mike? Is that matchy matchy approved or no? Hell yeah! Well, it matches your juice. There you go. We don't even match mods anymore around here. Mike matches juice. That's it. He doesn't care about flavor. <laughs> he cares about color. I just got this one here. This is a little uh, nip drip tip from uh, Trinity. White. It's like a little nipple. Yep. Nice. Now, if you like nipples in your mouth, you're going to love these drip tips, the nip drip tips. Can you, can you screw you that on your nipples, Mike? Did I say that out loud? Will that fit on your nipple? I was just wondering I mean, if that would fit under He'd like to showcase his sneaker collection one night. I mean, that's got to be insane as well. Oh, let me show you guys a pair of my new Pumas I have. Look at these bad boys. My new Pumas right here? Yes. Nice. Yeah. I love kicks. How many pairs of snakes do you got, dude? Uh, about 50. Where do you store these said kicks, Mike? BK speechless. He didn't even answer that question when I said 50. He's Not like, all. <laughs> where do I store them? I have um, like this rack that I got from Home Depot, and I got it actually right here. And I have just alone up on top, I got, one, two, three. I got 16 pairs there. I got another in the corner. Another nine pairs over there. I got another four or five pairs laying around here. In the closet, I have another, I don't know how many pairs. It's jammed in there, too. I got them all over the house. You're like a male version of my ex wife. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I tell you, I haven't been, I've only bought uh, in the past year, I've only bought two pairs. So that's pretty good. I've only bought two pairs of shoes in the past 10 years. <laughs> Mike, are they all Pumas? Cam is really bad, they're saying. Well, actually, one person saying that. Uh, yeah, the majority are Pumas. So you're I'm, a lover uh, of Puma. And I'm not even... Well, I am including in that. I got, like, Timberlands, my boots and stuff. You know, like, Timberlands I have. I got some Skechers, some Nikes. I got some custom Nikes that I had made on this website where you could customize your own Nike. Yeah, so I have custom ones that I've made. I've got uh, I've got a, a few, a couple of pairs of Re Reeboks, but a majority of Pumas. Well, your shoe review channel's ready when you stop vaping. I'm ready. That's what I'm gonna do. Have you thought about branding out maybe and like on Mike Vapes you could fucking do a vape review and then maybe throw in like an advertisement for a shoe or something? If they want to pay me. Hmm. Why not? Hmm. <laughs> what size shoe are you? Yeah. What size shoe do you uh, have? It all depends. Pumas, I wear a 12. They run uh, larger. 
like a Nike Reeboks. I wore 11 or 11 and a half. It all depends. I have to try them on. You know, but you know, my, well, my, my wife was talking about coming up and us having dinner together, like a double date type of thing. Maybe even a triple date if we can get BK's ass to head down. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'll come down. But I'm in a size 11, so is there any way maybe I could walk out of there with my third pair of shoes? Of course. Yes. I'll um, even autograph them for you. Oh, well, fuck. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, the Puma thing really takes me back. I remember back in the day when I thought I was like the fifth Beastie Boy. I used to have all the different suede Pumas and Adidas and shit. <laughs> Everybody's asking about my internet. There was a storm here yesterday, so shit's shaky around here. So I had a pair of troops. I don't know if you remember troops. No, nah, they, they were shoes. Those. They were like Marsh. They were like a brand from Marshalls, like. <laughs> K-Swiss. <laughs> I got a pair of troops and a triple fat goose jacket. I used to wear my triple fat goose in the spring and fall when it was not the weather appropriate, and I'd be sweating bullets in that fucking thing. Now, I used to be like a real fashionista homeboy back in the day. <laughs> tons of kicks, tons of like size 3XL polo shirts, Ralph Lauren, Tommy Hilfiger, Larry Ellis. I've had Timberlands, to Timberlands, hats, mm -hmm. all kinds of shit. Hey, Mike, why don't you try to log out and come back in? Everyone's saying that your internet's slow. <clears throat> you know you're giving him a complex, right? I am? Yeah. Should I just ignore it, BK, and act like it's not happening? Like the elephant's not in the room? Well, he gets real sensitive about this stuff. Mike, are you Mike. developing a complex? What I'm going to do is, uh, I think maybe the chat might be slowing me down. What do you mean by a complex? What do you... I don't know. BK's getting all psychological on us tonight. All right. Let me know if it got better. I don't know. Did it get better? Yeah. I think you look good on my end. Yeah? I don't know. I, can't, I don't see the chat. I shut the chat off. Maybe the chat's slowing it down, too, for me tonight. So, we'll see what they say. Well, I've noticed sometimes, though, like the feed looks strange to some of us, and then when you watch the show on the replay, it looks uh -huh. good. Yeah. It's weird. It could be YouTube doing it, too. I know YouTube has yeah. been fucked up today. They're running very slow. Yeah. show is also very popular uh, worldwide right now, so it could be traffic on the show. I mean, that's mm -hmm. true, too. I mean, there's, what, three, four million people watching right now? Yeah. Yeah, it's about that. Yeah, it's kind of like yeah. the Super Bowl. Yeah. We've become pretty much the voice of the entire industry. I know. I mean, it's serious shoes to fill. <laughs> Literally. Pumas. Yeah. Hell, yeah. I mean, Mike is like the Donald Trump at a vape game. Yes, he is. Donald Trump. So, did, how would... In the comments, did I clear up, or is it still... The much better I'm getting. Okay, good. They said we need to see your hiney to be able to tell if it's cleared up. All right, hold up. How about if I show everybody my nutsack? We love that here. We <laughs> love the nutsack here. There you go. There's my nutsack right there. <laughs> nutsack approved. They need to get a hit that shit nutsack version. Version 2. I'm actually, uh, someone's making a hit that shit box mod, customizing one for me. Nice. Psyched. I want to get, I want to get uh, in with somebody that does like custom metal engraving and have stuff that custom engraved with like logos and stuff. Mm -hmm. go, to a, go to like a trophies and awards shop. Ah, yes. Yep. That would work. Because they'll yeah. set it up on like a, on like a computer template. And then if you if, you know if you want to put something out like say a mod or something like that you know you can give them like fifty or a hundred of them and they'll just pump them out get a better deal in volume. Yeah, I only want one though. Well, you can do that. Uh, it's not <laughs> engraving is not expensive. Yeah. Crickets. Yeah, I feel like I don't really know what to talk about. There you go. 
I feel like, this you know... Is different from any other show? I feel like the clock is ticking, and I'm getting nervous because it's getting close to that time, and I don't want to go... And we're live. Well, <laughs> to the vape team. What episode are we? 33? 32. 32. Yep. What are you guys vaping today? Uh, any new juices? Anything new and spectacular that uh, you've been going uh, wah-wah over? Uh, <laughs> classy. Very. I tell you what, I'm really digging this Third Rock organic shit. I mean, this stuff is phenomenal. Great. Great stuff. Real smooth. Like, if you guys ever rip your throat up from vaping too much and you vape this stuff, it just it soothes it. It's nice. <coughs> What's the profile? Let's see. Uh, Sweet Cascade. This is just, I mean, it's just sort of a melody of, um, of fruits, like citruses, but they're not, they're not bitey at all. There's, like, no throat hit to it, but it tastes natural. Right. And it's just, it's just real smooth. It's hard to explain because... It doesn't have any cream in it or anything like that. No additives, but it's still, it's just very, very smooth. But it's citrus. And um, this other one is citron. This is a stronger citrus. But again, it, it doesn't have any of that, that ripping throat hit to it. Just uber smooth. And then, uh, yeah, I have a bunch of other shit upstairs. But I've been loving it. I've actually had a lot of good juice lately, mm. which is awesome. Nice. How about you, Brian? I think you're good. <clears throat> Juice-wise, uh, I have been still vaping on the Adore e-liquid, and uh, I got another big bottle of My Man, and I've been combining that still with the Muff or the uh, Milkman. Um, oh, fuck! Check this out. So I got this in the mail yesterday. 120 milliliter of I Love Donuts, right? Nice. But it's in six milligrams a neck. They gave you six? Yes. They gave me zero. Dude, mail me ah. your zero. I'll combine it with the six, and then I'll split it, pour it back in your bottle, and we'll 50-50 that shit. There you go. Sounds good. But you, you know, right I'll, mail it back. I'll mail it to you, but you don't have to mail it back. You, you don't like it? That's disgusting. <laughs> All right, well, mail it to me because I will take it. Yeah. So that'll be 240 I mean, milliliters. Yeah, I don't, I don't really care for it. So the six milligrams, guys, I can't hack it anymore. It fucking, it's too harsh. I used to fucking sub ohm, you know, cloud ch fucking chuck with six, but not anymore. Yeah, that, yeah I think to they me it depends up. on the juice. Some yeah. of them are real smooth in a six. Some of them aren't. Yeah, this is not so much. Uh, what I, I did put, um, this is a six right here in the die codes that I did for the Nectar review. And the, ne yeah. the nectar juice was six, but this is only running at 13 watts. Is a two ohm coil from the uh, Inakin coil, and I can totally chill. Real tight draw drip tip. This has been so fucking enjoyable. A nice pear vape. The pear is delicious. I was gonna say I can I can still totally do six like all day on like a Nautilus or a K Fun or something yeah, like that. Yeah, this took me back to when I when I quit smoking. Like that was satisfying to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's but actually, 50, the production watts, is pretty good too. Yeah, the production and the tank's getting kind of low, but once it gets heated up, like. I mean, 13 watts, not bad, right? I'm digging it. <clears throat> yeah. I, tell you, I tell you something else I've been playing around with lately is um, the Triton tank. I've revisited that thing hardcore because you can put a lot of great coils in that thing. Mm -hmm. um, I've been using the big Foggin coils. They had the Magnus Star coils, but they were a 1.2 ohm. I've been using them. They're yeah, fucking yeah. beautiful. They, they go up to like 50 watts, but they're a 1.2 ohm. Yep. Fucking crazy. A, lo a, lot of those, a lot of those big fog and coils really didn't impress me. They were like as good or not quite as good as the originals. But there were like two coils in there. I forget the other one. That was pretty fucking incredible. Yeah, those stack coils. 
those stack yeah. ones. Those are yeah, they're uh, pretty nice. I don't like them. They're pretty nice, depending on which one it is. Um, the I forget which one was good. The other one was shit. The uh, the Kanger vertical coils they seem like they just burned. Mm. You know, it seemed like they didn't get the cotton right in some of them. They don't. You can't put the same wattage. You have to have a lower use a lower wattage than what you would usually use with that. that yeah, coil. see, that's no good. Yeah, I, I think their coil manufacturing is pretty not up to snuff. I think there's consistency issues. Yeah, I know if you look inside, like the coil wraps on some of them are janky. They're not real clean. Everything's kind of shifted. It's just, eh. Mm. I was impressed with that one coil a lot, though. The tank I've been impressed with so far, and I've been actually, they actually sent it to me. I'm beta testing it. They sent it to a couple of people to do a test and give feedback, and they're not going to release the tank until uh, we tell them what changes need to be made on it. Is the the new Heracles tank. Yeah. Okay. Nice. And, How do you yeah. like that? New style coils. Fucking vapes awesome. Now, are the new style coils compatible with the old style? Uh, you know what? I didn't check, but they, they look totally different. I don't think they are compatible. They went with a total that's, different coil. That's a shame because you could fit the old ones in everything. Yeah. But um, that one there has top fill in it. But there's going to be a couple of changes that they're making with that tank. But uh, it's going to be a good one. Nice. How's the flavor on it? Real good. It's a good tank. So you know, I'm not allowed to really give out too much detail. They don't want me to. That's well, all. I don't I, want detail. It's just yeah. you know, is, is, the flavor. Is the the flavor is awesome. great. The flavor is great. Vapor. Uh, there's just a couple of changes that have to be made to it. But that's good what they did because uh, I just recently reviewed the. Uh, Horizon Tech, the turbo, the new Arctic turbo tank. Oh, that thing sucks. And uh, they basically uh, sent me tanks that told me, don't review it because we're revising it. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. They sent me the revi revised version. Okay, you can review these. I'm like, oh, okay, I can review them. All right. So I used that shit. I was like, oh, my God, that was the worst fucking tank ever. And uh, they kept on before. I, I didn't review it right away. I mean... They were bugging me. When are you going to put the review? When are you going to put the review? I was like, all right, motherfuckers, you're going to keep on bugging me when I'm going to put the review? I'll put your review for you. And I put up the review, and there was a fucking total fail on their part. Uh, up to the, even the RTA in there. The way it was designed. It was just a total fail on the whole tank, the whole system of it. And I feel bad for vendors that bought that shit. No, I've, I've vaped that thing. That thing sucks. Yeah, it's I mean, garbage. It's bad. It can hold some power, but it's totally pointless. It yeah. just it's, it sucks. There's no flavor. There's no... It, it's just... I don't know. Yep. I didn't like anything about it. You know, these companies, if they want to do shit like that, send the tank out and say, uh, vape this and tell us your thoughts on it. Should we revise anything? Whatever. Fine. Do it that way, that way. But you're going to bug with the review everything and, and I want my feedback first? That's fucked up. Yeah, well, you get what you get at that point. Right. On their end, you know what I mean? Why do you turn his camera around? We're over the time limit, and I feel like my world's upside down. Oh, my God, I didn't even notice that. It's 11 o'clock. There was some chat going on in the uh, comment section, because I was zoning out. And um, they were talking about some supposed uh, battery explosion that happened. And then yes. they, something about a disservice if we don't talk about what happened with the battery, but I don't even know what happened with the battery. So The only thing I heard was somebody else with the mech mod, again, using a fucking uh, sub ohm tank. I heard something in that nature. That's all I've heard. Other than that, I really have... It's probably another one of those bullshit stories that's made up and put in the newspaper. Probably it's the same pictures of the same exploded mod in the last ten stories. Yeah, and I saw a black mod. It was a black, it was black, and it looked in mid condition, so I don't know what the fuck exploded. <laughs> I don't know. What did my wife say? Frank Enstein? 
I don't know who that. I don't know what she's talking about. If you're using a mechanical mod and it's a hybrid top cap, don't use a sub ohm tank. I mean, everyone's saying Brian doesn't watch news. I don't know if you guys realize, but I do vape videos, fucking eight hours a day, six days a week. I don't have time to even shit sometimes. I wear a diaper. <laughs> like, seriously, it's so consuming. Like, I'm so out of touch with politics and with pretty I much anything watching. that's not vape-related. I stopped watching the news. I haven't watched the news in a year. Since I started my channel, I had no time for the news. It's nothing you need to see anyway. It's all fucking bullshit and lies. The news for me is looking for the next big thing to present to you guys on YouTube. You know? That's what I'm looking for, for news. All the news like that. Uh... So let me ask you guys this. So if I go to the store and I buy a pack of matches and I buy a can of spray paint and I decide that I'm going to light a match and spray the spray paint at the same time and the tank somehow combusts, do we need to regulate those? You know, I mean, there's there's obviously age requirements, but, you know, some people that are over 18 are just as stupid as people that are 5. So I don't know. There's always going to be idiots that do stupid things. But for most of us, I think having, you know, videos that talk about battery safety, having shops that educate people when they buy a mechanical device, um, maybe, maybe we should do a better job of doing a video maybe twice a year or something that talks about using a mech with a tank or something, what harms, what possible. BK, how about you do it? <laughs> I think I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I did in a lot of my videos. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of my videos, uh, when I do like the up and close part for my sub ohm tanks, I would always mention, I have a lot of it to mention, not, not to use the tank on a mechanical mod, a hybrid mechanical mod. I always remember to state that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that, your point that you just made it with the hairspray is so true. So so what, they want to ban it because it's dangerous. So what if someone's cell phone catches on fire in their house and it burns the house down? So we're going to ban all cell phones now? Right. Do you ever see a Nimrod in a parking lot driving a car like an idiot and hit a, another car or hit a kid? Or I mean, people do stupid shit every day. The world is full of idiots. This world was created for the lowest common denominator. Let me tell you that right now. A lot of idiots out there. Yep. We try to make the world as idiot-proof as possible, but when people try to make the world idiot-proof, then everyone complains that we over-regulate and we over, you know, we make the world too vanilla and don't give people the, you know, when I was in Denmark, I went on a roller coaster, right? And I swear to you, I get on the roller coaster and they didn't even check the fucking lap bars. They didn't even check because they figured if you're stupid enough to not make sure your bar's locked, you deserve to fall out of the fucking ride, okay? And they don't have lawyers there that are going to sue people for shit, dumb shit like that. So when it comes to using a high-powered battery in a steel enclosure and then not understand how you're doing it and what you're doing, um, I mean, I, I don't know about you. When I first got my first mech, I got a S, uh, simple clone, and I didn't know what I was doing, and I did the incorrect thing, and it got so fucking hot. And luckily, I was able to get the tank off the top, you know, and then unscrew it real quick because the bottom didn't unscrew. And uh, it was a lesson learned and nothing happened, but something could have happened. So, I mean, it can happen to anybody. They're kind of dangerous. Well, Maybe vape like, shops oh. shouldn't be selling uh, mech mods and stuff like that to people that don't know what the hell they're doing. They gotta the problem is we buy shit online, though, Mike. Yeah, I know that, but I'm going with vape shops. Uh, they should ask certain questions before they sell it. Now, also online... There should be some way for those devices that uh, you have to prove. I know that you do that little check-in thing saying that you're of legal age. I mean, a little kid could even check that off that they're of legal age. But there's got to be a different way before they buy something. Uh, show an ID. I don't know. Scan your ID or something to prove it. I don't know, something. Not, so this way it's not these uh, kids buying. And also s certain questions to be asked that you have to answer. If you answer them incorrectly about Ohm's Law, then you shouldn't be uh, buying that device. You shouldn't sell <laughs> something. I don't know. There's got to be some kind of system to figure it out. I know, uh, you know, Steel Vapor and a couple of the shops I frequent, they will not sell someone a mech mod if they're just getting into vaping. They yeah. refuse. 
You know, they'll, they'll steer you towards a Segeli or, you know, an IPv3 LI or, you know, whatever. But yeah. refuse to sell a person a mech mod, yeah. regardless of what they're spending, you know. That's how it should be. Yep. We should have the Department of Motor Vehicles in New Jersey uh, issue licenses for mechanical vaporizers because they're so good at controlling things. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. You know, honestly, I think if we didn't have car licenses, I don't think the roads would be any dangerous, any more dangerous. No, they would not. I don't think it would be any different. I don't know, though. Have you ever seen some of those countries out there, BK, where they don't have, like, fucking road signs in, like, the, in the city? You know? It's pretty pretty crazy. Nope. Yeah. You know what? There there comes a point where if you, if you pull back on all this regulation and you just let Darwin step in, I agree. I agree. Problems. If you get a battery that blows up in your face, maybe you're not meant to spread your DNA for future generations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd like to uh, thank everyone for staying longer tonight. It's always enjoyable. I feel like the show needed a little bit more, um, a little bit more meat. Because it wasn't, it wasn't really uh, digesting well inside me. I felt like we had more to talk about. So, I love you, Mike, and I love you, BK, and I love all of you guys watching. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll be back next week, same bat time, same bat channel. Or BK. As always, folks, kick butts, vape for life. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, we should have ended it that way. Well, what am I supposed to do here? Put your costume back on, Mike. <laughs> Fuck it. I don't know. What am I supposed to do here? I don't know. Put your costume back on. Everybody, make sure you drink your water and have a good night. <laughs> happy Halloween, everybody. Have a happy one, peeps. I'm going back on. There we go. Bye, everybody. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween.